Hello and welcome to another episode of Retro Revival. In this video we'll take a trip down memory lane as we explore some of the iconic technology and games of the MSX era. The MSX was an 8-bit home computer standard that was developed by ASCII Corporation in 1983 in collaboration with Microsoft. This particular model, named VG8020, was made by Philips. It has 80 kilobytes of RAM, which includes 16 kilobytes that is dedicated as video RAM, 32 kilobytes of ROM, and it has a dedicated chip for video processing made by Texas Instruments. The MSX1 had a variety of peripherals that could be connected to it, which made it an even more versatile and powerful computer. Let's take a closer look at some of these peripherals and what they could do. The VU0005 was a popular joystick for the MSX that featured two buttons and a classic joystick design. The joystick did have some adjustable features. Users could adjust the sensitivity of the joystick as well as the distance the stick could travel to customize it to their preferences. These features gave users greater control over the gaming experience and made the VU0005 an even more attractive choice for MSX gamers. Another essential accessory for the MSX1 was the D6600 data recorder. This device allowed users to store and load data from cassette tapes, which was a common method for distribution for software and games at the time. It may not have been the most glamorous accessory, but it was a key part of the MSX1 ecosystem. The data recorder is connected to the computer using a special cable. It has the ear, mic and RAM connectors. And on the other end, there is an 8-pin DIN connector. Let's load a program from a cassette to demonstrate. A program written in MSX BASIC could be loaded using the CLOAD command, with the name of the program behind it. After it was loaded, you had to execute it by typing in RUN. Games were usually distributed in binary format. They had to be loaded using the BLOAD command. After the game was loaded, it would execute automatically. One of the recent developments for the MSX computers is this SD512 memory mapper cartridge. It allows users to place game ROMs on it, effectively giving them a vast library of games to choose from. This cartridge can also function as a memory expansion. Let's load some games to see how it works. Thank you for watching this short video about the MSX1 computer. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you would like to help me out with this YouTube channel, please like this video and subscribe. Until next time, happy retro gaming!